What's going on guys? I'm here to debunk another viral video. So this one is a famous YouTuber saying that her house is haunted. Ooh, spooky. So let's watch the video and talk about it afterwards. Thumbs up, then I'm gonna be giving away. And I realized that I didn't what have any giveaway prizes with me, so I got up to go get them. <sighs> And I turned off all the lights except for one. Um, my parents are always yelling at me if I don't turn off the lights, so I didn't want them to. And I did keep one light on just so that I would be able to find my way back in the dark. So I'm actually fast forwarding the footage right now. There's about two minutes just staring out the wall. Um, you can't really tell that it's being fast forwarded because there's nothing really going on. But yeah, this part was just a little boring. So at this point, I actually stopped fast forwarding the footage. And as you can see, the camera is moving down. I have a really, really big, heavy camera and lens. So it oftentimes just kind of like weighs down and tilts down like that. So as you can see, there looks to be some sort of like child's hand or something that just pulls back really quickly um, as the camera is tilting down, almost as if it like doesn't want to be seen on camera. Now there's just some things that don't make sense about this video. This was a back to school video, right? And she's going to give away a bunch of prizes but she ends up forgetting the prizes. That's like saying you're gonna go hunt and forget your fucking gun. Well, shit, we're here, I just forgot my shotgun. <laughs> what the fuck? Or being a plumber and forgetting your fucking toilet plunger. Like, it just doesn't happen. That's like me going go something and me forgetting my camcorders. You know, it's on your fucking mind before you do it, you're gonna think about it, okay? That's just how, how it works. She sat there and talked for 15 or so minutes straight, and then she forgot the prizes, and then she left. And then that's when the ghost turned down the camera, and, it, and that fake doll's hand was sucked up under the bed. Well, um, why wouldn't she stop the camera, for one? That just doesn't make any sense. Just makes it more harder for her to edit. But she's only a famous YouTuber. What do I know? And now the thing is, if you search her name, I don't know if it's the same exact page or if she has a side page too, but if you search her name up on YouTube, she has a video of, or a, a whole list of prank videos in her playlist that she did. So now her job is to prank people. Why would anyone think this is anything other than a prank video that get more views and money? Please tell me. As always, I want to know what you guys think. I want you guys to go in the comment section below and let us know what your thoughts are on this. Was it paranormal? Is she bullshit? Is it all just a big prank to get money? I want to know what you guys think. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because the more subscribers we get, the better. The more people that see the videos, it's just what we're going after. We want to get the truth out there and not let this bullshit stay out there. So share us with everybody, guys. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Oh, and P.S. London chap, dude, you are so goddamn lame. You're just butt hurt because everybody called you out on your fake bullshit evidence, which wasn't true, and you had to try and lie to get your point across, and you just looked like a douchebag in front of everybody. So it's got to suck that this is the most fame that you will ever get is in this video right here. Sucks to be you, dude.